more fun on the beast. <laughs> Tried to overheat the other day because I drove it and then let it idle in the driveway. I forgot that the electric fan is not hooked up at all. Somebody, I mean, there's a couple different relays hooked up here. <laughs> so somebody has a relay that they had hooked up to the fan right here. So I've got the power unplugged from the constant control relay module or whatever you want to call it. Got my idiot light hooked up. Found a fuse blown, a 50 amp, so I swapped it with the ABS fuse. So now I'm testing, see, high speed fan on. And it goes on. Turn it off. Okay, I have a fan motor plugged back in. Um, these two wires right here normally go over, I remember it on my other one, to a little coil module goes in here. And what it is, like a resistor coil to uh, basically drop the voltage through <laughs> winding to uh, slow down the fan motor for low speed. And so that's missing, so I've just got it jumper through an alligator jumper there, which will drop a little bit of voltage since it's not going to be rated wire for the amperage on the motor. So we're going to go to low speed. Well, first, let's go to high speed just to show you that it isn't going to go on. Oh, it did go on in high. Yeah, because it's plugged in, so that's high. Let's go to low. It's going to do basically the same thing. It is slower because <laughs> it's pulling resistance through this, uh, waiting for it to get hot, through this piece of wire right here. Back to high. It's definitely faster. This is a nice tool. Don't have to warm up the engine or anything. Let this fan run for a second and see uh, how shitty it sounds. I wanted to make my own pulse width modulated, you know, fan controller. I might still do that. And uh, that way when it calls for low speed, I'll just slow it down with pulse width modulation and a filter capacitor instead of using this stupid thing. That would be awesome.